So now we're going to start doing uh, our fog light here for our car model. And <clears throat> the big portion here is mainly going to be that front face of the of the fog light where all the uh, the light bulbs are sitting inside of it and the easiest way that I've found to do this is basically use cylinders um, and then bridge the tools and it's you know it's just pretty much easier that way because you can capture all that detail fairly quickly and you can see where you know I just created a cylinder I'll go ahead and duplicate it here merge two of them and now I'm going to go ahead and basically start building the polygons around them and I'm just going to use the append to polygon tool you basically just click two edges and hit enter and it you know appends two polygons to each other and that's important because whenever we go to attach this to another um, cylinder it's going to make it real easy to to go ahead and bridge that gap and you can see in the top left here that we have 18 edges around the outside of this and so we need to create a cylinder with at least 18 um, edges around the top of it here so that we can bridge the gap to these so we'll give the subdivision axis on the uh, poly cylinder here 18 so that it's going to match properly whenever we go to bridge it and I'll just delete the top of the um, cylinder here so that we can go ahead and bridge this together I'll combine them gonna go ahead and make sure that all these these verts match up properly at the same height and I have to definitely um, reverse the normals on the inside portion of the light here because if we went to bridge it like this it just wouldn't come out right so I'll go ahead and deselect the bottom portion of the cylinder there reverse the normals go ahead and select the, the border edge on both here and bridge it and you can see where there comes out a little bit weird but if we use the bridge offset and just adjust it you can see where it's going to make it pretty much all quads and it just takes you know pretty much that quick and you can have a a very decent portion front part of the light where it's you know all quads and it's looking good and now I just need to edit the shape here just a little bit and this way whenever we add these to the car it's going to be that much easier to go ahead and texture them and modeling this fog light it shouldn't take you you know that much time to to go ahead and make it um, it's not that complex of a shape
And you can see here the base, you know, is basically just a polyplane that I've extruded. Now we'll go ahead and um, make the light body here. And there I'm just trying to place it so whenever I extrude the uh, the front faces in here, I'm going to get a uh, pretty much unified scale so I can place the inside portion of the light there correctly. And now I'm just making the rubber portion of that light. And all these little details, you know, like I said, will help sell your car. And you can see where I'm just, you know, basically editing edges and adjusting edges to, to go ahead and make all this stuff for the light. And I just extruded it in and, and down so that it, there's a little bit of thickness to it. And this polyplane is going to be the, the glass portion of our light. This way, whenever <coughs> we extrude it and render it, we aren't going to have any um, faceted faces and hard edges to the light. Well, at least to the glass, because we don't want that glass to be like digitized whenever we go to render it. because then it'll just basically look weird. And I'm adding thickness there because whenever we go to render with V-Ray, that thickness is actually going to look like it's going to make it look like it's really thick glass whenever we go to render it.
and you can you know basically see how quickly you can you know model anything inside of Maya with just a, f a few simple tools of poly modeling. And there you can see how how quickly we can get that light shape, you know, pretty much done here. And we just need to add some of the mechanics for it. And I'll go ahead and basically just import some bolts and and start doing the bottom portion here of the light that's going to attach to the bumper, basically. And I just added a couple extra subdivision loops so that we can, you know, keep that shape and maintain that shape well. And you can see that that bolt's, you know, fairly high polygon, but that's okay since it's a, a hard surface piece. And, you know, a weird shape. I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of the faces off of it. Basically just mirror it over. It's just basically a lot of duplication is all. Now I'm just adding a, a couple extra edge loops to make sure that the f um, shape is refined enough so whenever I go to smooth it, it's going to look fine. And we'll just go ahead and export this out. And just reset our project for our car and make sure we export it out to the original scene folder so that we can then just, you know, basically import it back into, into our car modeling scene.